Hello and welcome to another JMP video, I am the host of Nero and today I will be talking about in my opinion the best empowered gem ability in Trove, Vampirian Vanquisher. This was going to be a live commentary but I forgot to turn on my microphone on this recording so I am doing this post commentary big. <gasps> Anyways, let's get started. Why do I say this is the best empowered gem ability in the game? It's because it brings incredible benefit and it does have a really high proc chance. Let's get started by reading the description of this ability which is as follow. Dealing a critical hit to enemy has a chance to increase movement speed and causes the next hit to leech health. Alright so the description explains it very well but what are the chances and how much you get you may be asking. So let's get started with the chances. First and foremost yes this only triggers if you do a critical hit so if you have a low critical hit stat value you will not find a lot of benefit from this ability anyways if you do a critical hit it has approximately a 75 percent chance to proc this is hand tested but i pretty much summed it down to around 75 to 80 percent chance of proc so it's a really high proc chance once it procs it will be shown as a movement speed boss similar to like the rat the berserker the prefect penguin the ally buff or trailblazing emblem and you will get the following benefits. You will get a plus 20 base movement speed, which is the same as Trailblazing Emblem, 10 less than Pyrodes, 10 less than the allies that I mentioned before. However, it does stack with everything that I did mention, every single movement speed buff, it does stack with Vampire and Vanquisher. So it is a really good ability right there. And this buff lasts for 5 seconds, but if you do a critical hit again, the timer will refresh, so it will keep the buff active, it does not stack, it just keeps the buff active. Once you get the movement speed buff, every hit that you do after the movement speed buff, you will get a lifesteal that is based around how much damage you do. The percentage that you get is a 0.5% of the damage that you do will be returned as health. And by the way, I did say in my Neon Ninja 30k PR video that I did say a 0.05%, yeah, it is not a 0.05% uh, because I use multiplication rather than actual percentage, which is a big fail for me. But I did say it's a 0.05% when it's a 0.5%. Get like a 0.05% of your damage as a health. Sorry to anyone that thought that it was 0.05%, I made a mistake in that video. And that video has a plenty of views, so pretty much someone got really confused about that. Anyways, moving on. If you look at that percentage again you will see that it, that is really low and i will say yes it is a really low percentage but this is trove we're talking about and this is a game that you will be easily hit millions of damage and a 0.5 percent of 1 million damage is 50k hp so if you do a crit of 1 million damage that's 50k hp or even any type of damage that does 1 million damage is 50k hp as return if you do 10 million damage, that's 500k HP, and so on and so forth. If you want to check how much damage or how much health you do recover, get a calculator and do this formula, if you want, which is your damage times 0.05. The, and the result should be the, how much health are you are going to recover with that ability. Also, you can heal up to 4 times every single second, so if you attack more than 4 times a second, which is pretty easy in this game, you are going to be constantly healing with this ability, which is amazing. So do not underestimate this ability, even though I don't think anyone does underestimate this ability, but it's still a really powerful ability and you pretty much gotta respect the percentage that this ability brings you. Like the healing and the movement speed buff, it is amazing. On which class should I recommend this ability on? Pretty much any class that is in the Revenant, Tomb Racer, or Gunslinger. Tomb Racer and Revenant have both insane survivability, so you're not going to benefit a lot from the lifesteal of this ability. Unless you're going for speed farming dungeon, and your choice on that one, both characters can do speed farming dungeon, the Revenant more so than the Tomb Racer, but still. And as far as the Gunslinger, the Gunslinger is mostly a Shadow Tower based character with a pretty good survivability if you know how to evade damage. Pretty much how you evade damage is you stay in the air and do circles with your Gunslingers and you're going to evade pretty much all projectiles and all close range enemies. So it's going to benefit a lot more from the Gunslinger if you use something like Berserk Battler because of the plus 40 base attack speed and the plus 40 base attack speed is going to increase the DPS by quite a lot. But if you want to use the Gunslinger as a speed farming, which I only recommend you to do U9 or below with the Gunslinger, you can use Vampire and Vanquisher to get the movement speed buff. And yeah, so you're going to benefit from the movement speed buff with the Gunslinger, but I still recommend you to get Berserk Battler. 
Any other class that is in those three classes are going to benefit greatly from this ability in both Dungeon Grinding and in Shadow Tower. So this is the reason I think this is the best Empowered Gem ability in the entire game is because it is so good at any portion of the game with any character. Paradise is really good and it's a really great ability that does damage and grants even more movement speed than Vampire and Vanquisher, but the lifesteal and the 75% chance of procking is just too good. That is all for today. Thank you for watching, thank you for sticking around as always, leave a like if you want to help the channel grow, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and that is all for today. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time, take care and keep on hunting. See ya.